AFL records that are very, very unlikely. In fact, that will never be beaten. If you do enjoy this, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. The most games ever played is Brent Harvey from the North Melbourne Football Club, who has played 432 games. This record was only broken recently from Michael Tuck, which the previous record was 426, and Brent Harvey recently retired. There aren't many other players close to this milestone, which makes it very, very hard to break at the current point in time. The current closest player that could potentially break it is David Mundy, who is the player with the most games played who is still active. The two players closest to him is former Hawthorne superstar Michael Tuck, who has played 426 games, and the recently retired Sean Burgoyne, who played for Port Adelaide and Hawthorne, who finished with a total of 407 games. The highest losing score was recorded in Round 6 of 1989, where Geelong took on Hawthorne. Hawthorne got the job done by 16 points and Geelong lost with a whopping score of 163. Following those records is North Melbourne in 2001 where they scored 159 and Fitzroy in 1978 when they scored 157. The lowest scores ever record is one that I know will never be broken. It is St Kilda dominated, but the difference is they're all from the late 1800s. In first place was round three of 1899 where the Saints took on the Cats and they scored one point in a whole game. And coming in at second and third with the same total, St Kilda against South Melbourne and Geelong respectively scored two points in each game. Football has changed obviously a lot since the 1800s, like I don't see how anyone could even get close to finishing with that score nowadays. To see the record of the players who have kicked the most goals in a single season, we have to go back quite the way considering how much footy has changed in 60 to 70 years. Bob Pratt for South Melbourne in 1934 and Peter Hudson for Hawthorne in 1971 tied the record with 150 goals each in their respective seasons. Coming in third, Peter Hudson once again in 1970, the year before his record-breaking year. He got 146 goals. As most footy fans should know, former St Kilda and Sydney icon and superstar Tony Lockett holds the record for the most VFL AFL goals kicked in history with 1,360, followed by Collingwood legend Gordon Coventry with 1,299 goals, and in third, Hawthorne legend Jason Dunstall with 1,254. Now, as I've said a lot in this video, footy has changed a lot over the years, and that's why the highest ever AFL scores record, in my opinion, will absolutely never be broken. When in round 7, 1992, Geelong took on the Brisbane Lions and scored a whopping 239 points. Coming in at second place around 17, 1979, where the Fitzroy Lions took on the Melbourne Demons, and they scored one point short of the record, 238. Winning in third place round 17, 1987, the Swans took on the Bombers and scored 236 points. The most goals in a game record is one that people always strive to beat in the modern day game, but unfortunately, I don't think anyone will even get remotely close. Coming out first is Melbourne legend, Fred Fanning with 18 goals, followed by two legends of Collingwood and Hawthorne in Gorgon Coventry and Jason Dunstall, both with 17 goals each. The youngest debutants of all time record is something that I think will never, ever be broken again. This one I really, really mean. From the way people come into the AFL nowadays, I just don't think you could get that many people coming in at the age of 15. In fact, the top three starts off with Claude Clough of the St Kilda Football Club, who came into the VFL at age 15 and 209 days, followed by two Collingwood legends in Keith Bromage and Albert Collier with 15 years and 287 days and 15 years and 297 days. That is the end of today's video. If you did enjoy, it would mean the absolute world if you could hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Comment down below what is the record that you think could be broken within the next five years. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.